Juana Maria, as she would be later called, was discovered here in 1853. By then she had already lived on that island, alone for 18 years. When she was found, Juana Maria was wearing a dress made of cormorant feathers and was living in a hut made of whale bones and brush. Her tribe, Nicolino had inhabited San Nicolas Island for 10,000 years before they were discovered. Russian fur traders accompanied by Alaskan sea otter hunters attacked the tribe, massacred the men and raped the women. 1835, a group of Franciscan friars came to know that a few of the Nicolinos were still alive and sent a boat to save them. While some say that almost every Nicolino boarded the ship, except two people, some say that after they all boarded the ship, they realized that a woman and a child were not on board. There is another story that says that a woman realized that her son was not on board and so jumped off the ship and swam to the shore to get him. Several boats went looking for the two, but in vain. When she was eventually found 18 years later, she was surviving the best she could. She killed seals, ducks, and had made a house of whale bones. She is said to have fished, ate seal fat and even sewed and made clothes of feathers, all that was documented after she was discovered but no one understood her language. There was no way to know her story firsthand. One scholar says that she told the captain who rescued her that her child was killed and torn to pieces by wild dogs. She was rescued and taken to Santa Barbara. The fellow Nicolinos who had escaped years ago were nowhere to be found. They had died of an epidemic or had left Santa Barbara. She was baptized in 1953, seven weeks after she landed in Santa Barbara and was named Juana Maria. She died soon after. Her story remains a mystery as there was no one who could understand her. What was known of her is that she used to sing and was fond of shellfish and coffee. Because of her inability to communicate with her rescuers and adapt to their customs, they believed her to be feral. For 18 years she might have missed the company of humans but she managed to survive. Maybe rescuing Juana Maria was no rescuing at all.